Today I've got two pieces of Andamooka Matrix Opal. This one weighs 28 carats and this one weighs 68 carats. As you can see there isn't much color here but there is color and we can reveal it by treating it. The goal of treatment is to turn these white tan stones black. I'll get to that in a minute but first I'll grind and polish them to create cabochons. A cabochon is a gemstone with a smooth dome-like surface as opposed to a faceted surface. Well that was unexpected. I guess I'm going to have to treat that arrowhead too. Now because of that childish exercise we're down to only one stone to work with. So I'm going to treat this chunk of matrix opal but first I'll need to grind it and polish it. You may have noticed that I keep talking about treatment. Well treatment schmeatment. How do you do it? It's simple. You put the opal in a mixture of sugar and hot water. Then you put it into boiling hot concentrated sulfuric acid. If the treatment works the matrix will turn black and the color inside will be exposed. But what if you don't have any sugar? I mention this because I seem to be fresh out of it. Now any source of sugar will do and I've got it. There's one sugary thing that we always have here at Pulitzer Opal. Now I know you must be thinking that those are my hands messing with all that candy but they're not. First of all I never wear purple. Second of all I don't ever mess with lethal weapons. I mean I could cut myself or Sheila might get hold of it and nobody wants to see that happen. Also I can't move that fast because as many of you are nice to point out I'm no spring chicken. Uh, that's that's old school speak for what you guys called an old head. So what is this idiot doing with the candy? I can't wait to see. So it's down to just you and me compadre. You seem to have some color but with matrix opal you never really know. Will you treat well and become a star in the opal universe or will you disappoint me and face annihilation? This matrix opal was up to the challenge but this one failed with only a small area of successful treatment. Which will it be for you my friend? We will soon find out. Well it turns out that I found another chunk of matrix opal with a lot of color. So I cut it in half and I made cabochons out of them too. I mean what if the first stone had no color? What then? Disaster on YouTube. I mean I might get booted out of the YouTube legion of superheroes right?
Look at this mess, Sheila. I told you that candy was a bad idea. I, I know you like candy, but wait a minute. I've never seen you actually eat candy. This stuff smells like Red Hots. I hate Red Hots. Well, the smell's not too bad, considering that it could smell like what it looks like. Sheila, what's with a cloth? It's not a dress, it's a cloth. You can't fool me. What? You're shy? Let's just get to work. This is gonna make a colossal mess. Give me that cloth. It's not a dress. I don't have time to fool around. Okay, just get your hand in there and start mucking. Okay, it's time to put the opals in. And out to the oven. And now for the final stones. At 13.98 carats, we have Lumpy. Lumpy stunned me with his fabulous color as I was grinding, but nobody knew that he would fail to treat. He's still very nice, though. At 20.63 carats, Rose has good color, but she also resisted treatment. She's two-sided, though, with one red and one green side. Poor Rusty. He weighs in at seven carats, but he's not the man I expected. I previously had good results treating the opal that he came from, but Matrix may suddenly change from treatable to not. Rusty's flakes show more color than Rusty. They show the kind of color that I was expecting. We were worried that he might not treat, so we brought in Lumpy and Rose. But at 47.01 carats, the Emperor has all the qualities that he will need to rule the opal world. He's double-sided, and his color is the best that I've ever seen in a Matrix cabochon of his size. And now the winners from last time. The winner of the 14.1 carat Precious Fire Opal, the 19.4 carat Cantera Opal Cabochon, and the 11.04 carat Australian Fire Opal Arrowhead is... Nobody. I want to give viewers more time to enter, so we'll give them away next time, along with Lumpy, Rose, Rusty, and Rusty's Chips. The Emperor will stay with me. He was going to be made into jewelry for my wife, but not ten minutes ago, she recklessly parked my car and disrespected Sheila. The ultimate indignation. To me, this was no accident, if you know what I mean. You can enter the giveaway by leaving a comment, and it does help to be a subscriber, I must admit. Well, I'm sure glad that all that candy is gone. I used all of it, and no, I did not drink that tub of candy uh, soup. I'll call it soup, but you guys know what it really looked like, right? If not, ask a friend. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you next time. <laughs> this is a shameless plug for my nephew, a GIA certified gemologist living in Bangkok. He really knows his gems and can get you any gemstone or gemstone jewelry at far below prices that you'd pay in the U.S., Europe, and elsewhere. You can reach him on Instagram at the above address.